I want a do-over, okay? Can we just rewind? Let's do over this winter. This is nuts, yet another snowy morning. So I thank all of my guests who were able to make it here on time, it's fantastic. And if you're home today uh, with your kids because uh, they're not able to go to school, it's wonderful to have you here. Hopefully uh, you have a safe drive on the roads today. It's gonna be a great show. So keep watching throughout the whole show. Naturopathic doctor, Dr. Natasha Turner is here and she's gonna give us the scoop on sugar. Now, sugar has been finding its way into all sorts of places that we wouldn't be thinking about. So you think, oh yeah, I don't need a lot of sugar. But if you really break it down, I bet you you do, and it's wreaking havoc on your body. We're gonna find out how and how to change that. And then we're gonna head into the kitchen. We're gonna do a little cooking with the beer market. So obviously we're gonna be cooking with beer. We're gonna be making a beer and cheese fondue. And then we'll talk a little bit about the fondue festival that's coming up and fondue etiquette. There is fondue etiquette. Uh, beautiful crafts with a local craft, craft expert. Wait till you see these things that if you weren't really paying attention, you might think are real flowers. That's how gorgeous they are and, and realistic looking. And then the author of Really Dead, Janet Foreman is here. She's a local author. We are celebrating who, her first mystery novel. Uh, how exciting is that? And she uses um, her expertise in the television world because that's where she comes from originally uh, and has worked it into this story. It's a lot of fun. And then we're going to get a martial arts demonstration from DeSantos Martial Arts. Really great, something uh, we're thinking of with our daughter for sure. Great for kids as young as three. We'll find out why uh, you should be starting that young with something like martial arts and what are the benefits and where you can take those classes. Now, as you're watching today, we hope that you will feel free at any moment to tweet us at Rogers TV Toronto and use the hashtag daytime to yo. We always love to hear what you have to say. Okay, so uh, with Chinese New Year right around the corner, our reporter Timothy Mack had the chance to check out some typical New Year cuisine. Have a look. We're here at Landmark Seafood Cuisine where we're going to be talking all about Chinese New Year foods. And with me today is manager Robert Poon. Robert? Hi, hi, nice to meet you. Yeah. So what do you recommend for us during the Chinese New Year time? You know, Chinese New Year is a very important day for the Chinese people. They, we will all celebrate the Chinese New Year the whole world. So the family will come together and enjoy a very good supper. Mm -hmm. They will choose uh, some seafood. Oh. So, so usually we take the lobster too. The lobster in Chinese we call Long Ha. That means Long Jing Fu Mang. So you have uh, good health in the future in the coming year. So we choose lobster. Okay. Uh, so it's like Long because it's like dragon. So dragon. healthy and strong like a dragon and a tiger. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So okay, crab. Oh, now what kind of crab are these? Because they're huge. Uh, this is the king crab. It all come from the Alaska, USA. Okay. So uh, you know the crab, like you know, you can catch the money, you can make money. So it's, okay. we choose the crab. So because yeah. of the claws and its long reach, it's yeah. just reaching for the money. You are right. Yeah. We can never get enough money, can we? Yeah. All right. Now also you have what? What's the third thing you would like to talk about? How about fish? We oh yeah, fish. sure, absolutely, yeah. fish. You know, the fish is swimming fish, so we will take fish too. You know, the, the fish like that, so good mean, means you have the good figure. <laughs> and in Chinese, fish is a year. That means you have uh, excess money every year. So what's the Chinese terminology for that one? So every year there's always excess, always surplus? Excess money, yeah. That's beautiful. Every year, no, always more and more money. You can never spend enough, okay? That's right. So also now, after a meal, we always have to have some dessert. You know, it just makes yeah, the meal complete. Have, uh, you know, the Chinese New Year, we have some dim sum like that. So every year, it means, you know, some, like this one. Uh, which one? Uh, Lingo. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's start with? It's the light that look like the go, right? So it's a... Uh, so go is pudding, correct? Pudding. Okay. Pudding. So means you have going up every year mm -hmm. and you have uh, go like money. Okay. Now, so uh, lean go, it's lean, it means year. Lean and go is and ascending. Up. So every year, always improving money, health, health everything, everything, always going, going up. up. Awesome, beautiful. Yeah. And so what else? Oh, what is this one? This is the water chestnut cake. Okay. You know the 
coming year is the horse of the year, the year of the horse, right? Mm -hmm. So this the church like we call Ma Thai. Oh, okay. Chinese is Ma Thai. Yeah. So same thing. Oh, because horse in Chinese is Ma, oh, and then oh, so we're using the sound of the right. food. Oh, okay, yeah. beautiful. And this is. This is the uh, look like that, but they keep in smile, right? Okay. And so these are fried sesame balls? Fried sesame ball. Okay. In Chinese, it's siu hao zhou. Okay. So you always, like, look, it's really happy, right? Happy face. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Yeah, so if you get a close look, it looks like it's smiling. So you're always happy when you eat it? No. Nice, yeah. energetic, happy, happy. Okay, beautiful. Now, for Chinese New Year, uh, aside from all the food, you yeah. will also have Chinese New Year celebrations here, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, Chinese New Year's Day, we have a lion dance oh. here. So it's a very happy, very, uh, you know, exciting. Yeah. So yeah, will people so all come and enjoy the festivities? Enjoy, uh, right. What day and what time? Uh, the year, the New Year's Day come, coming is uh, the 31st, 31st of January. Okay, That's beautiful. It. So I'm going to stay here, enjoy some of the dim sum here, and yeah. if you guys want to check out the Chinese New Year show, it's January 31st. The first, the first. Awesome. Thank you yeah. very much, Robert. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Yeah. That Thank does it for me here at Landmark, so back to you guys in the studio. Man, so much fun. Yeah, the Chinese New Year's right around the corner. All right, so we need to talk a little bit about sugar. Do you realize how much sugar you're eating? It's more than you think. So we've got naturopathic doctor, Dr. Natasha Turner here, who is celebrating, hitting the bestseller list in the States. Thank you very yes, much. Amazing. Now, this uh, book came out uh, a couple years ago, but it is uh, brand new for the American public, right? It is. It actually released December 24th, and uh, within a week, it was the New York Times bestseller, so I was completely overwhelmed. It was amazing. Fantastic. Uh, I pre previewed it on the Dr. Oz show in November, and he was great. To, uh, he really is a big supporter of the program, and he really endorsed the book. Well, it, because it works. I mean, it's dead easy. It works. Yeah, it's dead simple. easy. It's going to work. You're going to feel so much better. Mm -hmm. This is going to start to shrink. It is. I mean, it's yep. just so hard to manage that. Mm -hmm. Of course, your other great books uh, are, are available, too. This is the most recently written one, right? This the is the most recent in Canada, it yeah. is, yeah. And this really helps you become aware of all the hidden sugars in your diet, because basically any type of carbohydrate that you eat is going to eventually end up as sugar in your body. And really? if you have a little bit of metabolic damage, like if you yo-yo dieted, if you're sleep deprived, if you eat too many of the bad things, it makes you more sensitive to the sugars when you do eat them and you definitely will be more prone to belly fat regardless of the um, the, the, ta the, the habits that you follow. So that makes sense because you often wonder, you look at somebody who's able to eat whatever it is That's right. and have no detrimental effects That's right. and then you wonder, so why is it a problem for me? It's because of other things that it may is, be going yeah. on. It is, yep. Particularly like even if you are sleep deprived, within one or two days you will become more prone to weight gain because of the impact on how your body processes sugars just from one or two days of a sleep deprivation. So it's like there's so many different things that impact your ability to, to process carbs, process sugars and um, this book really helps you identify what you're doing wrong and mm -hmm. then helps you identify the perfect types of carbs for your metabolism. So when we come back, we're going to talk about are there good sugars? I mean, how do we, how is it that, that we get overloaded when we think we're paying attention? Mm -hmm. And some great choices we can make instead. So more with Dr. Natasha Turner when we come back. Oh, it's so good, but it's so Bad sugar is the enemy. Naturopathic doctor, Dr. Natasha Turner is here. You know her from seeing her on all sorts of great places. Dr. Oz being uh, only one of the many spots Ooh. we see you now. You're spreading the word. We really have to watch our sugar intake. Absolutely. It is the number one way to reduce the risk of uh, health risks. Um, when you eat sugar, it triggers the release of insulin. And insulin is the one and only hormone that is always telling your body to, to store energy as fat. It also blocks our ability to burn fat. Really? And carbs and sugar are the number one foods that trigger the biggest release of insulin. So the trick, if you want to get rid of your belly fat, we're four weeks into the New Year's right now, is you've got to become aware of the types of sugars that you're consuming, how they're getting hidden in your diet, and how do you know if you're eating too much sugar. So the biggest indication is cravings, believe it or not. So you should never, ever have a craving. If you feel hungry all the time. It's, un it's 
Never, it's never. unnatural to have a craving. It totally is, yeah. It means your diet is not balanced and you're probably eating too much sugar. So when you cut the sugar out, the cravings naturally go away within about three to four days. Believe it or not, that's really quick. Um, but the other types of symptoms would be water retention, bloating, if you feel tired after eating, if you're constantly hungry, uh, fat here, fat here, fat here. Those are the immediate signs of eating too much sugar. And then over the long term, we know that it increases the risk of all Alzheimer's, diabetes, stroke, um, it's basically linked to every single chronic disease associated with aging. Are we talking about added sugar or is the f sugar in fruit and some vegetables okay? Um, no, definitely. There are good carbs and there's bad carbs. Um, you want to be aware of choosing carbs that are highest in fiber and lowest in sugar. So those are usually the things that we call low glycemic carbohydrates. Okay. They don't have the adverse effects on your health. Um, unfortunately, we end up consuming a lot of sugar and we don't realize where it's hidden so you have to pay attention to reading labels and in general I tell people you shouldn't eat foods that have uh, glucose in the first three ingredients on the label because that's that a little there's a lot anything exactly. with O's right that's right okay so what have we got here so basically there's ways that you can reduce your intake of sugar which is to take out the foods that are highest in sugar so okay. breads muffins pastries sh candies sugars and sweets um, but then you can replace the sugar in your diet. So uh, here we have an example of products sweetened with xylitol. So xylitol is a natural sweetener. It's from North American hardwoods. It doesn't cause the boost in insulin, so you don't get So you get the sweet taste? You do, yep, but no harmful side effects, no weight gain, no increase in insulin. Um, it also helps your oral health, so it's good. There's a lot of health benefits to it. It's really, it helps fight cavities. How mm -hmm. does it do that? It just um, is protective to the dental health. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. Yep. So here's some examples of most people don't realize that there's a lot of sugar in ketchup. There's like a teaspoon for every tablespoon. So this doesn't have any of the sugar in it. It's sweetened with xylitol. This is my favorite product. Really? It tastes delicious. Yep. So which one, the sauce or the ketchup? The ketchup, okay. for sure. That's my favorite. Um, this one here, these are jams. That's another way people get more sugar in their diet and they don't realize, but these again are sweetened with xylitol. Oh, so nice. no adverse side effects. You can bake with xylitol too. Um, use basically one cup of sugar would replace with one cup of xyla. It's granulated, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah it looks like sugar, but it just doesn't have any of the bad side effects. So it's really great to uh, prevent weight gain for sure. If you want to switch out the sugar and replace it with xyla. What about in your coffee or your tea? Definitely anything. You can sweeten any food. You can bake with it. So there's you can. It's very versatile for sure. Brilliant. But then there is also ways you can negate the harmful effects of sugar should you choose to eat it. Okay. So um, examples are the more spices you add to your diet, like cinnamon, um, ginger, cayenne, um, they reduce the secretion of insulin after the meal so you have less weight gain. So the more creative you are with your spices, certainly you'll have less risk of weight gain. Uh -huh. um, have you ever heard of apple cider vinegar causing I have it. weight loss? I have it in my cupboard. I use it for a lot of things. The, the benefit of the apple cider vinegar is if you consume it before a meal that's high in carbohydrates, it actually blocks the increase of in your blood sugar after the meal. So then you have less insulin release. You just take it on its own? Yep. You can put a couple of tablespoons of this um, like in warm water before your meal. It'll help your digestion and it's oh, also it's really good to prevent the increase in insulin. Um, I've tried it just as I've taken a little teaspoonful and it's not yeah, that bad. No, it's not that bad. It, isn't, it really isn't that bad. And then the other trick is fiber. Okay, mm. so more fiber you add to each of your meals, it will limit the increase in sugar after the meal and you'll, that will limit insulin release. So it's less weight gain, less cravings, you feel full and consistent the whole day long. So a couple of tablespoons of, I prefer these to be ground. So you can sprinkle those in your salads, in your yogurt. And any and coffee it, grinder will work, yeah, right? To grind definitely. up those seeds? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man, this is it's so scary to think that, that all that sugar is hidden. And we, it is. we have to be detectives to yes, try and we find do. it. Mm -hmm. But it's so helpful to know that you can find products based on the stuff that you already like and mm -hmm, use mm -hmm. that aren't going to be causing the right. harmful benefits. That's right. And I love that uh, even though you travel all over the world yes. you know, talking about all these Michigan things, all weekend. <laughs> you're, you're based right here in Toronto, so mm -hmm. we can actually come to you mm -hmm. when we need help with our own Yep, my health. clinic has been here for six years called Clear Medicine. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So what I love about this, of course, is you brought a giveaway. Mm -hmm. yes, so we, have. we yeah. are going to be giving away all the products we've talked about today courtesy of Dr. Natasha Turner. This is an amazing giveaway. Look, these are a great selection of products from Xyla. Is that how you say it, Xyla? Xyla, that's right. Including 
the sauces that we talked about, the candies, even lollipops for the